Here at home, protesters have been making themselves heard for hours throughout downtown Sacramento near the federal courthouse. Fox 40 Zach Boedo is live for us now after talking with organizers and supporters earlier today. Zach. Eric, just these signs are left here in front of the Robert T. Matsui Federal Courthouse here in downtown Sacramento, where hundreds of people were just two hours earlier demanding those abortion rights. And this all comes as those leaked Supreme Court draft opinion documents continue to shake up the nation. Hundreds of abortion rights advocates rallied in front of the federal courthouse in downtown Sacramento in response to the sudden threat to the 1973 Roe v. Wade Supreme Court decision protecting a woman's choice to abortion. This fight is about protecting and expanding abortion access for all, for all Californians and for those who are forced to seek care from other states that are passing hostile bans. This coming just 24 hours after a draft of a Supreme Court abortion opinion leaked to the public, calling for a look back at Roe v. Wade, the first time a draft of its kind has ever slipped through the highest court security. Last night with that leaked opinion by the Supreme Court, which we know is just a draft opinion, not actually final law, but if it were, it would be devastating. Although the draft is not an official decision from the court, people all across the U.S. taking to the streets and social media to heed their concerns. Today in Sacramento, the group coming together with chants, holding up signs and marching the streets to the Capitol to make their voices heard. Every human being should be passionate about the rights over their bodies. And obviously women have been fighting for this much longer than men. And so that's why it's important for both men and women people who do not declare a gender and everything in between to be included in today's march and everybody should be concerned about this because it is not just a woman's right it's a human right the leaked documents would attempt to enact a nationwide six-week ban on abortion under current federal law states cannot deny abortions to women who are in their first trimester but the states do have their own laws when the pregnancy gets into the second and third trimesters. While states cannot revoke these rights, many people say they already have created barriers to access. Officials here with Planned Parenthood tell us with a majority conservative Supreme Court and those leaked documents coming out last night, this is the time for people to stand up and fight for abortion rights. Under a Supreme Court ruling expected to come this summer, women may lose that federal protection for first trimester abortions, leaving them to have to get to a state that allows that procedure. But those without access to out-of-state travel will have to find another option. We hope that California can continue to be a leader on, you know, really showing what it means to be a reproductive freedom state and protect abortion for all. Despite the leaked documents coming from the highest court, California and Governor Newsom making it known the Golden State is a safe place place for those seeking reproductive care. And about an hour ago, SAC PD tweeted out saying that all the demonstrations have ended here in downtown Sacramento, but earlier the group was marching down the streets here toward the Capitol. But again, SAC PD saying all demonstrations have ended here tonight. Reporting live from downtown Sacramento, Zach Boetto, Fox 40 News.